Hey guys, we are back. I am out uh, goofing around a little bit. As you can see above me, the clouds, uh, the, the sky is beautiful. It was rainy last night and this morning. It's windy as all get out. But at least I can get home. <laughs> I start out with a bus token. <laughs> Alrighty, let's see what else we can come up with. Hey, I was uh, digging a signal and I found this like two feet away. I just happened to look down. It's got to be the most appropriate surface find ever when you're out metal detecting. This is freaking awesome. I love this. And it's even got the pin on the back, so as soon as I fix that and bend it back into place, I'm going to hang this sucker up on my jacket. This is awesome. I hope this means good things. Alright, we're on to the second interesting find of the day. I can already tell this is probably just going to be a kid's ring, but it's a ring. Urgh, come on out of there. That dirt's packed in pretty good. Yep, I'm pretty sure that is just a little aluminum kid's ring. Feels like it, looks like it, smells like it, everything. But, hey, that's a, that's an interesting item. See what else we can get. Hey guys, we are out for yet another beautiful morning. Found a couple of uh, interesting things. A Chuck E. Cheese token. I tell you what, I could be in Chernobyl and find a Chuck E. Cheese token. These things follow me around. But I think I might have a first. Um, let's take a look. If it's what I think it is, then I'm going to be a really happy camper. Right down there, see it's round. And it's got that white patina. That's old, look at that. That. This is in Michigan too, but that appears to be a musket ball. I'll have to look closer, but there's not a lake near here. I am almost positive that is a musket ball. That is freaking awesome. Look at the white patina trying to show through on it too. So wheat. Let's see what else we can find today. Got this sucker about seven inches down. It's light. Almost looks like part of a makeup thing. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to have to clean this up when I get it home and take a closer look. I'm not real sure. It's a tube. I see. Looks like some words trying to come through right there. Sorry about that. Got my hands in. There's an E. Something co. Erico. I think that says face right there. Oops. Focus, 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 focus. Huh. We'll clean it up when I get home and find out more. Interesting little find though. Hey guys, check this out. Got a spoon down in the hole. Ooh, all right. Oops. Let's get in the frame here. Cool, isn't it? It's been chopped up a little bit, but I'm not gonna try to clean it right now. I don't think it's silver. I don't know. It's awfully shiny. Might be a silver wash. So I'll wait and clean it up in a little bit to see what we got. But cool, a spoon. My kids can eat cereal now. Well, this is my first interesting find this morning. It's a different day. And it's just sitting on the ground. Some sunglasses. Do not appear to be scratched up at all. Cool, I'll take these and see if one of my kids wants them. <laughs> 
nice already um this is just a couple of feet away from where i found those sunglasses i found a shotgun shell head stamp this area that i'm in it's a park um in the middle of town that has not been a uh field or hunting area for a long long time this is a pretty old park so uh finding this really an inch under the ground is rather surprising i'll have to date it but this looks pretty old i might have just hit something good Oh, yeah, baby, look at that. A nice ring. Uh, oops, <laughs> out of focus there. I'm going to have to pick it up because I just dropped it. Clean this up and look better. It's really muddy right now. Might have me a bit of silver, though. And I keep dropping it. Hey, I'm about to wrap it up for the day, actually. Uh, I'm just coming out for a little bit this morning. I got some, uh, I got some crab apple jelly I gotta make. But I found me a, it was like a fanciest, fastest drag strip bulldozer ever. <laughs> yeah, okay, I can't wait to clean this up and see what it looks like. So, that's the weekend's worth of hunts there. I uh, went to like three different spots. I tried a couple of new spots out and uh, just scouted around a little bit trying to find some new areas. Um, came up with a couple of interesting things and uh, some unidentified and unexpected stuff. So let me show you real quick. There's the weekend's worth of stuff. Uh, got me some sunglasses. A hair thing. Uh, Cool, like a little drag dump truck combination. Never seen anything like that. Um, little bits and bobbles, odd stuff here and there. This is lead. It's really soft. You can bend it so easily. See? Bend it that way. Bend it that way. Really easy. Um, found a couple of these. I think they are lids to something or other. Either that or they were matched halves. I don't know. It looks kind of like one of those uh, milk jug lids from old days. It's better quality than you'd find these days. Uh, bus token, game token, shotgun shell head stamp, uh, kid's ring. There's that ring that I thought was going to be something decent, but I think it's just a fancy kid's ring too. It's kind of corroded. Uh, some clad, nothing special. Uh, I think the oldest stuff I got was like a couple of 68 pennies and a 64 nickel. Um, spoon is kind of cool. It's from near here. This is from Battle Creek, Michigan, which is uh, east of where I'm at. Um, it says Stark Battle Creek on it. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, little earring piece that is silver. It is marked on the back. See the mark there. This I'm very excited about. I am 99.9% .9 sure that this is a musket ball. I don't find any, it has that really old white patina. Um, it is lead. It doesn't have anything to indicate that it would be a fishing weight. So I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, and this is kind of interesting. It's... Um, Labeled. I don't know what the symbol is supposed to be there. Oh, I think that's like a uh, part of it is a mask so It's probably like JT and then a mask on the bottom of the T there. It looks like it is from It says E-R-A-C-E. -E. I don't know if there's a missing letter there or not But it's X-Factor It is old I think it's just a lipstick tube, but here, put your ear up next to mine. Can you hear? There's something in there. I think it's probably just dried up makeup or something. I'm going to try to open it. I don't want to damage it. If I can't open it without damaging it, I'm not going to open it. But if I open it, if I do get it open and find anything, I'll let you guys know. Otherwise... Okay, I did manage to work it loose. It does 
look like a lipstick tube and it is coming off Let's see if I can get it one handed here oh check it out that's exciting oh and I think it was just the dirt that was rattling around in there <laughs> what do you think see anything down in there me either cool though it's exciting that I got it open oh well it's still cool whether there was anything in it or not I may put something in there just to uh, kind of mess with people maybe that earring will fit in there or something but that's the wrap up for the week um, some interesting finds got out got some exercise had some fun getting them so um, that's it for this week you guys show me what you're finding remember get out there Life is a treasure, and it's full of treasures. So get out there and find yours, and let me know. Let me know what you're finding. See you guys later.